It is my pleasure to welcome you to this session on STEM education and what is happening within the state of Washington on STEM. We have a shortage of talented people. Uh, and so we're having to hire more people from the rest of the world. There are great jobs in this country that are going unfilled. And there are great jobs in this country that your students can fill. And there are great jobs in this country that are going to leave this country unless there are more Americans that are able to come forward and fill them. To me, STEM education really, it, it's, it has become kind of a buzzword, but I think it's a buzzword that represents an important idea, which is that we do need to focus on better instruction in science, better support for kids in science, math, engineering fields, technology, whatever it may be. And that's what I think this movement is about. We're starting to realize, wait a minute, this doesn't start at college, where does it start? High school, still too late. Middle school, still too late. This is starting in kindergarten. But this really follows the president's view that education is not an expense, it's an investment, and it's a necessary investment for America. Classes are kind of individual silos of, we go to science class, now we go to math class, and oftentimes the teachers see the connections between what they're teaching, but the kids don't see it because it's not intentionally connected and interrelated. And so many of you are involved in those kinds of schools and in that kind of commitment, as is the White House. And it's just now a absolute imperative that we put diversity at the top. And the companies are asking for diverse talent because they, they know that they've got to bring that diverse talent to the fold. And if you, you know, have a particular segment of the population that is discouraged, that doesn't see an opportunity, that isn't progressing uh, economically or socially, you know, ultimately that does you know, become a problem for the community as a whole. And, and hence, you know, it's smart business for us to want every part of the society to be on this path. And it's also part of having a healthy community. This is what you can all help with making sure that as we move forward, we're really preparing kids to be college and career ready when they graduate from high school. So when they go to college, they have a higher chance of succeeding. Lots of kids go to college saying they're interested in science or math or engineering, and they go and they think this is way too hard, I'm not really ready, and so they change subjects. When kids are young in elementary school, you know, it's really important to ground them in the basics in math and science and to excite them. We're not yet doing a great job as a country in exciting people uh, in what these fields have to offer. That's what they need. They don't need more content. They need the ability to apply that content and explore it in a way that, that is meaningful to them. And the elementary school teachers need the opportunity to have those kinds of experiences that they can take back to their classrooms. If you're a good teacher, get better. If you're a great teacher, figure out how you can share your wisdom with others and help others get better. How you can build a community of support so that your school is a strong school. And if your school is strong, how can you make your district better? Your being strong advocates is absolutely essential and the White House needs to hear from you. We at STEM Connector, Washington STEM, everyone wants to hear from you, not only your stories, but your recommendations. I think there's actually a surefire recipe for political success when it comes to education issues, especially at the state level in a, a capital like Olympia. You know, it's called teachers plus parents plus business. When these three groups come together, they have a huge political impact. And if every year there are one or two or three things that we can agree on, and we can go off together and with the organizations that rep represent us, unite and link arms and get a couple of things done every year, then over the course of a decade, we can remake the state. I'm really big on relationships. I think it's a, a key thing with kids, especially the kind of kids that I work with, to build up those relationships and that trust. So maybe think of a couple of kids that, that you know that are in your classes. Uh, that are a little bit disengaged and maybe just think of a couple things you could do starting next week to hook a couple of those kids. I would say believe in your students. Just believe in them. Set the bar high. You know what they're capable of. Hold them to that. And at the same time, find creative ways to, to engage them. That classroom is your domain. You have them for, say, an hour. That is your time to impact their lives. 